if you are self-employed, an entrepreneur who has little to no employees, because many self-employed entrepreneurs don't have employees, it's just a one man or one woman show, then you definitely want to listen to this video. It can make you a whole lot of bank and make you rich faster than most. Now, what up? You got Mr. Smith, 0.5 of Mr. and Mrs. Smith, and I wanted to shoot this brief video because this is something I wish I would have done a lot sooner. So when I was reminded of this, I was like, you know what? That'd be a good video to share with people who are self-employed and entrepreneurs because we have a few people who are self-employed entrepreneurs or striving to be self-employed entrepreneurs or one day fire their boss and one day work full-time from home. And initially when you're working full-time from home, you more than likely don't have any employees. So it's just you. But most people get into business for themselves because they want to be able to get wealthy and retire at the time that they deem necessary. They've broken away from the matrix mentality of I have to be 65 in order to enjoy life, in order to retire. They understand that you can position yourself to retire younger, earlier, and a lot more people are retiring a lot more younger and a lot more earlier than ever before. So by understanding that that's why they chose entrepreneurship to be able to have a bit of control over their destiny, they want to have tools and resources that can speed up that process. And that's what this video is primarily about. Now, first of all, what you got to understand is that as an entrepreneur, as a self-employed individual, your business is not solely just about profits. Of course, that's a big deal, making money and income, things of that nature. That's a big deal. But it's a lot more to do with cash flow and what you do with the cash flow to increase even more cash flow and build wealth in the process. You see, many times entrepreneurs get caught up in how much money they made, but they haven't done a lick of record keeping, which allows them to write off many of the expenses that they could qualify for legally that makes their tax liability a lot lower. What do I mean? Some entrepreneur might make $50,000 a year, but claim nothing. Meaning that they made 50000 and they just may claim their kids when it's time to file taxes. Many barbers and beauticians do this. But the fact of the matter is, if you're not recording how much it's costing you for your booth rent or the overhead altogether or the miles on your vehicle or you replacing your materials and supplies and tools, equipment, things of that nature... That's a lot of money that's being lost. So yeah, you might have made 50000 but on paper, you don't want it to just say 50000 You want it to be 50000 but you had 20000 in tax deductions legally. That's how you go about lowering your tax liability. And when you do file your taxes, this is a good chance that you can get a refund or at least break even with the IRS. So it made your spread as an entrepreneur a lot better because you didn't pay too much in taxes. An entrepreneur who is not benefiting from the tax laws is almost worse than an employee due to the fact that if you make 50000 100000 200000 whatever it is that you make, if you make that type of money, but you don't have any tax deductions, and then when you file your taxes, they're going to tax the hell out of you. In other words, they're going to tax you pretty good due to the fact that you didn't have any tax deductions, or at least that's what it looked like. When in all actuality, you did, you just didn't know that you can record those things and get tax perks and credits and put yourself in a position to pay little to no taxes. There are people who legally pay zero in taxes from big companies to small businesses. Now, that's not what this video is about, but it does have everything to do with it because I said this is a best place to put your money or invest your money as a self-employed individual. Now, I know this is preference-based and different people have different things that they would rather prefer that you do or recommend that you do. And I'm not a financial advisor, nor am I yours. And this is just for educational purpose solely, not for you to just take as legal advice. So definitely consult with whomever you choose to consult with. But this is just something that has benefited me and will continue to benefit me. So I hope that it may benefit you or at least get you to think different and just kind of raise the idea to somebody that you may consult with. Now, as an entrepreneur or a self-employed individual, you do not have typical things such as the 401k or the cafeteria plans or the pension that your job may have once offered. 
However, that does not mean that you can't create something along those lines for yourself. There are different options out there. I'm going to just talk about one in particular. And in all actuality, if you're self-employed, it actually positions you to get richer faster than somebody who might be contributing to their 401k plan, even if they have the employer who does a match. It might help you get wealthier faster than a person who has to wait on the age of 65 in order to withdraw their money. And now they're ready to retire, but they were only contributing whatever was allowed. And now they just take what they get. And many times that's taxed at the end. So what you have to understand is during your working years, you have a high potential to earn more money. So you want to be investing as much as possible during your working years because it increases the chances of you being able to retire sooner. Not only that, with the thing that we recommend, and I'll say it here shortly, you also get tax deductions. So not only will you be getting tax deductions from you being a business owner, as I stated before, on the things that you're spending money on, whether it's internet, phone bill, whatever the case may be, or just supplies, mileage on your vehicle, travel expenses, you name it. There are hundreds, over 400 tax deductions that many self-employed individuals qualify for. However, most of them leave it on the table just because they do not know any better. Now, if you, as a self-employed individual, especially if you don't have any employees, want to start investing, you want to consider getting a SEP IRA, which is an individual retirement account for a person who is self-employed. So it's a self-employed program that allows you to set up your own IRA as an individual and now you're able to put money in that and it's tax deferred or you're able to have a tax deductible expense when you contribute to it. So let's say that you made 50000 but you said, you know what? I want to lower my tax liability and invest at the same time. The SEP IRA allows you to put however much money in there, usually up to $25,000. Most other forms of retirement investments have a lower limit. It all depends, but uh, several of them have a lower limit than up to $25,000. And now that's money that you can put in that account and allows you to get richer faster because now you're getting tax deductions on top of that, you're also positioning yourself to grow your money if you invest in something that has the potential to grow. So now you're positioning yourself to benefit from compound interest from up to $25,000 that you invest through your strong working years. And let's say you do that year after year after year, your income starts to grow, your tax deductions grow, your investment starts to grow. You look up and realize that you built something solid that outside of your business, you got enough assets in place that can grow and invest all because you took advantage of getting a SEP IRA, which comes along with tax deductions and the ability to contribute to it on a higher level. And now it positions you to not solely be thinking about the income that you earn from your business, but also be thinking about the tax deductions that come along with being a business owner, as well as the investment vehicles that allow you to benefit from being a business owner as well. So I don't want to dive too deep into the details of it further than that, but consider a self IRA because it allows you to grow your money, get tax deductions along the way, and build wealth a lot sooner. Share this with somebody that you feel may benefit because you personally may not be self-employed fully right now or you might strive to be and this could still be something that you can understand and benefit from but share it with somebody else who you feel may benefit who is not investing, who is full-time self-employed, somebody who does not understand the benefits of tax deductions and investing to grow your money which also entails having tax deductions to go along with it as well. You will hear different perspectives on this same topic but this is just my personal opinion on it being a great idea for you to do versus not doing it all. I also put a link below so you can grab two free stocks and in that account you will also be able to open up an IRA if you feel the I you know feel that it's a good idea to do so. You'll be able to open an IRA and get going and at least be on track to starting to invest because a person who is not investing they're not even on the road to building wealth. You can be building your business all day, but if that business solely relies on you and something happens to you, then the business shuts down because you have shut down if you don't have the proper, proper entities and things in place or investments 
in place. So I linked two free stocks down below. Just wanted to share this brief video because this is something I wish I would have understood sooner, tapped into sooner, but it's never too late. But if I can save you some time, then I definitely feel like I took a lesson of mine and turned it into a blessing for you. That's all I got. Mr. Smith, 0.5 of Mr. and Mrs. Smith, signing out.